your show is big. Play that music, it's a super geek. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Hooray! The secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a smart, beautiful, talented princess who loved hats. All kinds of hats. And she loved kitty cats. And jump ropes. And balls. And whatever the princess liked, she got. Which is why her name was Princess Gets a Lot. Is this a real fairy tale? I think it's more of a Mia tale. And Princess Getzelot really loved trucks. <laughs> oh! Oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a little too much story in your story, Mia. Maybe you can make one up that has less stuff in it. Nope. More is always better. More hats, more toys, more action! More adventure? Yes! More adventure! Great! Come on, everyone! Let's go! Sounds fun! I'm in! Huh? But wait! I didn't finish my story yet! This adventure will give you even more stuff to add to your story! Yay! More stuff! Hey, hey, come out and play! We're growing on an adventure today! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Welcome, everyone, to the first annual Parade in the Meadow! I love parades! Me too! Wish we could be in it! Starring our special guests, Princess, Princess Mia and her charming friends! Awesome! Cool! We can each make our own float by decorating a trailer! Yes! I'm gonna decorate mine, Tessa style! Mine will be Steady Eddie Ready! Great! Let's do it! Hmm, where should I go? Snow Globia! I'll find some cool decorations here. <laughs> Jungle Land! Awesome! Perfect for my country float. The beach! Time to collect seashells! Tessa style! Snow Globia, here I come! But maybe the farm has better decorations. Hmm. <gasps> Fairy Tale Land, that's the place for me. Princess Mia! So enchanting to see you! How may I help your highness? I have to decorate my float for the big parade in the meadow. Ooh, how royally fun! I know just what you'll need. This is great, Ginger! But I think I need a little something more. Oh, well, of course, your highness. How about... <sighs> The Royal Trampoline! <gasps> Perfect! Nice float, Tessa. I can almost hear the ocean. Thanks. What's on your float? Oh, come and see. 
<gasps> Seashells. Oh, and starfish. And a sand castle. I should have some of that stuff on my float, too. More is always better. Oh, dear. Wow. It's very... jungly, Eddie. Thanks. I'd like to add just one more thing, but I can't decide. Maybe a giraffe? It's nice, but you can't really see her head. Right. Sorry, Miss Giraffe! <laughs> it's okay. I like watching parades, too. Hmm. Maybe an elephant? <laughs> Nope, that's not gonna work. Wait, how about a sloth? <sighs> Sing a dig a doo! I love your snowy float, Kobe. Thanks, Mia. I need some snowy stuff on my float, too. Oh! <sighs> mm -hmm. And we slap it in. Looking good. Yay! Corn stalks and chickens and hay bales. I love everything on your float. Thanks, Mia. I can't wait for the parade to start. And... yes! Definitely worth the wait. Oh, Eddie, it's so wonderful. I wish I had a sloth on my float. Thanks! See you at the parade! Oh. My float is good, but it needs more stuff. Come on. But, uh, your float is so nice, just as it is. Blue away from me, you hate it! It's about to start. Where's Mia? Oh, there she is. Hello! We're coming! What happened? I don't know. My car just stopped. I think maybe your float is too heavy for your car to pull. There's too much stuff on it. But more is always better. <laughs> Isn't it? Actually, Princess, I think your float looked just perfect before we added all these things. Oh, maybe you're right. I should have looked at what I had before I added more. Want us to help you put it back the way it was? <gasps> yes! Let's do it! Cake is very nice when you have one yummy slice. But eating too much cake just might make your tummy ache. Too much can be too much. Think before you get more stuff. No need to be selfish. What you have may be enough. Making noise is fun when you jump and skip and run. But making too much noise just might bother and annoy. Too much can be too much. Think before you get more stuff. with my float. I was being kind of selfish wanting everything on it. To your cars, everyone! The parade's about to begin! Let's go! Woohoo! Zigga digga do! Hi! Woohoo! Here I come! I love this! This is awesome! Ta-da! Oh, 
It's the most fabulous float in all of fairy tale land. <laughs> Adventure! Yeah! And I have a great story to tell now. All about a parade that had a farm float, and a jungle float, and a beach float, and a snow float, and a fairy tale float. And all the floats went past a tall tower where a princess was kept by a witch. And there's a dragon, and an ogre, and a... Uh, too much? Yes! <laughs> You're right. That's a story for another day. Back to the parade! I'm going to paint a sparkly princess in a golden dress. I think I'll paint... your portrait, Mia. Huh? That means a picture of your face. Ooh, perfect. How about you, Kobe? I'm going to paint a still life, otherwise known as Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Come and play soccer, you guys. Yeah, we need more people to make the teams. No, thanks. We're painting right now, and... <gasps> this paint is all dried up. Someone didn't put the cap on tight. Someone didn't put the caps on these at all. Rats, we can't paint without paint. Then come and play soccer. No paints needed. No, thanks. Let's all do a puzzle instead. I like this one. That's my favorite. Hmm, huh. this can't be right. Somebody didn't put all the pieces away last time they used it. What? I was in a hurry. I think we all must have been in a hurry when we put stuff away. It's a mess in here. We'll have to clean it up if we want to find the puzzle pieces. Or instead of playing with the race car puzzle, we could go on a race car adventure. Shika diga too. That sounds like fun. Can I be on your pit crew? What does that mean? Race cars need tuned engines, inflated tires, and full gas tanks. That's what the pit crew does. Ooh, I want to be on the pit crew too! Cool! Come on then! Let's go! Awesome! Uh, I'm gonna stay here and look for the rest of the puzzle pieces. Okay, Sophie! We'll help you when we get back! <sighs> Fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Some race cars! Where does the pit crew go, Kobe? To our pit. It has everything we need to take care of the cars. And they'll take care of the other team's cars. Welcome, racers, to the Radical Rainbow Road Race! Each team races four times around the track. Everyone who finishes the race gets to ride the rainbow. Yes! Wow! Let's go! Yeah! Woohoo! Steady Eddie is ready! Tessa, too! On your mark, get set, 
pit stop. Here we go. <laughs> this banana gas will keep your cars running super duper fast. Thanks, Mia. This tire has a little hole in it, Eddie. We better change it. That's okay. It's only a little hole, and I'm in a big hurry. Just patch it, uh, with this. Hmm. Thanks. You should take the time to take care of your car, Eddie, or it might stop working. Uh, later. Let's go, Tessa. Right behind you. <laughs> Hi guys. Sorry you didn't finish. We could have finished if we'd taken the time to take care of our cars. Yeah. Do you want to take care of them now? Can we? Sure. And we'll help. Cool. Let's do this. Yay! There's a time after you play when you need to put your things away. If something's special and you love it, take the time to take care of it. Make a mess and have your fun. Just put things back when you are done. If something's special and you love it, take the time to take care of it. Cause when you want your stuff another day, you can find it and be on your way. Cleaning up goes by so fast. to take 
the time to take care of our things. We're here to be your cleanup pit crew. Great! Eddie and I will find all the pieces to this treasure chest puzzle. <gasps> hey! You guys! Wanna go on a treasure hunting adventure with us? Sure! Okay! Woohoo! Wait! Wait. <laughs> we'll go right after we finish finding these puzzle pieces. All right, let's clean up. Okay, let's do it. All right. some more. Or we could play hide and seek instead. Yeah! I'm a bear! Oh. Run and hide! Four. Oh no! A bear. One, hide, hide. two, three, four. Mm, that smells so good! Seven, eight, mm. nine, Cinnamon? Ten. <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! Hmm. Oatmeal and cinnamon. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> mm. And raisins. Shh. Gotcha. Ah! <laughs> and vanilla. What else? <gasps> it's gone. Oh, no. I ate it all. Tessa, I see. Got me. <laughs> Everyone is gonna be so mad at me. What am I gonna do? <sighs> I have to tell them. Found oh. you! I found everyone! Now it's time to eat the... <gasps> hey! Where's the cookie? Sophie, our cookie! Someone ate it! Who would do that? Um... I bet Lucky did it. <laughs> No, he would never. Don't worry, everyone. Tessa and I will make another one. Come on, Tessa. <laughs> now we have to wait again. An adventure would make it easier. Yes, a forest adventure with squirrels and stuff. Let's go. Yay! <sighs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be any Situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! 
winter. Hey, guys, why don't we help them? Okay. Keep those acorns coming, team. When the meter reaches the top there, it means we've stashed enough acorns to last the winter. <sighs> and not a minute too soon. Winter's on its way. We'd like to help if we can. Sure. I'll go grab some acorns. But we don't have big cheeks to carry them in. See? Ah, I see your point. Uh, use these baskets instead. Great. All right. Lucky got blamed for eating the cookie. I have to tell my friends it was me, but they'll be so mad at me. <laughs> Sheldon? Did all these acorns fall out of that little hole? Mm-hmm. And then you ate them? Yeah. We have to tell the others. <gasps> no! Please don't tell! Then everyone will know that I've been eating them, and they'll be mad at me! <gasps> I know! You and me can patch the hole up, and no one will know it was ever here. I don't know if we should. Please? Okay. Something's wrong. The meter is going down. That can't be right. Not with all the acorns we're putting in. I've got to fix this before winter comes, or we won't know if we've collected enough food. Oh, no. Maybe a rock fell out. we better go see. The acorns are all dropping out. We have to tell the others. Can't we just fix it? Pretty please? With acorns on top? <sighs> okay. We'll try to fix it. But if it doesn't work this time, you have to tell the truth. I've checked every Dealy Bob and Gizma Who, and I can't find anything wrong with the meter. I don't know why it's going down. But I'll keep looking. Hey! You fixed it! It can't be. It's impossible. It can't fill itself. We have to keep working. The squirrels think the tree's filling up by itself. You have to tell the truth, Sheldon, or there won't be enough food for the winter. Mm, I know. I should have told the truth in the first place, but... Oh, everyone is going to be so mad at me. I know what you mean. I ate a big cookie. Let our dog Lucky take the blame. I wish I told the truth in the first place, too. <sighs> Maybe we should both tell the truth now, together. And so I just want to say that I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling the truth, Sheldon. Next time, uh, maybe do it a little sooner. Okay, team, back to work. I'm sorry, too, you guys. For what, Kobe? It was me who ate the giant cookie, not Lucky. What? You? Why didn't you tell us? I thought you wouldn't like me anymore. Well, of course we'd still like you. Friends know that friends make mistakes. Sometimes we do things wrong. We don't mean to, but we do. Mistakes are made by everyone. Just like you Tell the truth, it's good to do Don't say things that are not true Don't be scared, just take a breath 
it's not that hard to do. Just tell the truth. Just tell the truth. For friends, for you, it's good to do. So tell the truth. the truth it's good to do i won't say things that are not true i won't be scared i'll take a breath it's not that hard to do just tell the truth just tell the truth for friends for you always be true and you'll feel better when you do so tell the truth Good job, everyone! The storage tree is filled to the brim! And just in time for winter! Just in time! Wow! Ooh. That was awesome! Tigga, tigga, do! <laughs> Snack time! A whole new cookie! Yup, and it's big enough for all of us to get a nice big piece! No thanks, Sophie. I've already had more than my share. What do you mean, Kobe? It was me who ate the first cookie, not Lucky. <laughs> I'm really sorry you were blamed for what I did. Do you forgive me, Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that was one big doggy. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Lucky seashell, but I did find this cool rock. Oh. Well, thanks for looking, Jack. Jack! Ah! Look at your hands! Why are you even digging in all that dirt? Jack and Tessa are helping me look for my lucky seashell. Eddie! I think I found it! This is it! Thanks, Tessa. Back where you belong. Eddie always puts his lucky seashell in that pocket. It brings him good luck. Well, I don't think it really brings him luck. It's just... Yes, it does. And I always keep it in this pocket. If you say so. So now can we go on our beach carnival adventure? The beach? I like the beach. Except for the sand. It gets in your hair and in your food. But maybe we'll find some more cool rocks and seashells and stuff, Emma. And you don't even have to go in the sand. We can stay at the carnival. That sounds like fun. Great, let's go. Woo! Bye. Have fun on your adventure. See ya. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're going to have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone. Situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Come we'll to far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Step right up for a chance to win the best prizes on land or sea. <laughs> you there, you in the pink shoes. How'd you like the chance to win a big pink whale? Oh, that's am amazing. I have to have it. What do I have to do? You start from way down there and win a small prize. Then trade the small prize for a bigger one. Then trade the bigger prize for the best prize of all. It's probably easy to win the small prizes, but it'd take a lot of luck to win this big one. But you're great at games, Emma. You are. Try it, Emma. OK, I'll try. You get three chances 
to throw a dart at the beach ball. Get just one dart to stick, and you win! Okay, here I go. Huh. Oh, fooey. Mm. <clears throat> this is harder than it looks. Keep trying, you'll get it. <sighs> Emma! Oh! There's a cool place to dig for treasure over there. That, that's great, Jack, but did you have to get so dirty? <sighs> you have one more turn, Emma. Oh, right. <gasps> Emma, you won. <laughs> yeah, you won. I won. Wow. I'm going to go try the next game. Good luck, Emma. Emma doesn't need luck, Jack. She just needed a little practice. Step right up to feed the clams. You get five chances to get three bean bags into the shells. By the way, you've got a little something on your nose there. <gasps> Is it dirt? No, don't! <gasps> you had dirt on your nose when you won the last game. It might be the thing that brought you good luck. I don't really believe in luck. And I really don't like being dirty. But I really, really want to win that pink whale. So maybe you're right. <clears throat> Silly, I knew the dirt wouldn't bring me luck, Eddie. Wait, you might have to put new dirt on your nose every time. More dirt? <sighs> okay, I'll try. Here I go. It worked! Putting new dirt on my nose worked! Thanks, Eddie! Only now, you've got dirt under your eyes, too. What? No! No, no, no don't! Oh. That's part of the luck now, too! You have to put dirt on your nose and under your eyes. <laughs> Why did it have to be dirt? Okay, I'm ready to throw again. Oh. Uh-oh. Good luck. Yes! Emma! Emma. Woohoo! I got two bean bags in. Only one more in and I win. Uh, I think you need to put cotton candy in your hair, too. What? Yuck! No. But that's part uh, of the luck now. Gotcha! <laughs> Emma, you only missed because Jack sneezed. <laughs> yes! And we have a winner! I did it! I won! Yay! Uh-oh. What is it? <laughs> Step right up to the spinning octopus ring toss! Land one ring on each arm and win the grand prize. I can do this. Eddie. 
Do you always win when you have your lucky shell in your pocket? Huh. I guess not. Sometimes I win because I'm a good player, and sometimes I lose because I need more practice. That makes more sense. Practice and believe in you. That is all you have to do. Turn that frown into a grin. You don't need good luck to win. Just keep this trick right up your sleeve. All you need is to believe. It's practice, practice, practice. That is what you need to do. Practice, practice, practice. And remember, we believe in you. When the game is getting hard or you don't draw your lucky card, keep your head up, do your best, and practice will do all the rest. Don't just believe in some small thing. Trust in yourself, you can toss the ring. With practice, 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 that is what you need to do. Practice, 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 and remember we believe in you. Yeah! Tessa is right, Emma. You're a good player. It's not luck that helps you win. It's practice. And you've had lots of practice now. You can't win if you don't try. I can do this. <laughs> Way to go, young lady! Wait, you mean I got all dirty for no reason at all? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I'll be right back. Huh? Woohoo! I'll take my big pink whale now, please. Oh, this is um, amazing. I won, I won, I won! Yeah! Tessa helped me see that if I try my very best, I'll get better as I go along. And she won the grand prize! Wow, you're so lucky, Emma. She's not lucky, Mia. That's lucky. <laughs> Good one, Eddie. <laughs> that was funny. are cows. So get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tessa, want to be in our cowpoke posse? Yeah, we're rounding up little stuffies. I mean, doggies. Huh? Not doggies, Lucky. Doggies. See? <laughs> well, it looks like fun, but... It's such a hot day. I just want to drink lemonade in the shade. Hey, guys. Anybody seen Kobe? He likes to run through the sprinkler with me when it's hot. Huh. I haven't seen him all day. <laughs> that almost sounds like music. That sounds pretty good, Kobe. Oh, hi, Sophie. I'm making up a new song, but I don't have all the notes down yet. That's okay. Keep playing. I want to hear the rest of it. I don't want 
want anybody to hear me play till it's perfect. But you're so talented. Whatever you play will sound great. Well, I guess I can try. <laughs> Ugh, that didn't sound right. I don't think I should play anymore. Sure you should. It sounded... Yee-haw! Me and Wrangler Mia just had a rip snorting idea. Who wants to go on a cowboy adventure with us? That sounds like fun. Yeah, I'll go too. <sighs> it's too hot to pretend we're cowboys on the dirty, dusty prairie. Hmm, not if we're snow cowboys. Now that sounds cool. Let's move it. All right. Dig a dig a do. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Tent. Let's make a snow cactus. Yeah, <laughs> snow cactus. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. And here's our campfire. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Now all we need is a cowboy song. Hey, Kobe, how about that when you were playing on your harmonica? But I don't have my harmonica. No problem, buckaroo. Here you go. Oh, thanks. I'll try my best, but it might not sound very good. Oops, sorry. Sorry again. Keep going, Kobe. It's getting better. Kobe, I love it! Yeehaw! Wow, that sounded great, Kobe! Yeah, that was awesome! Even the little doggies liked it. I mean, little penguins. Penguins? What penguins? Did someone say penguins? Because I'm looking for my little guys. Hello, Mama Penguin. They were just here a minute ago, but then they left. Oh, where'd they go? Actually, ma'am, they skedaddled off all over the range. That's cowboy talk for. We don't know where they went. Mm, I told those little waddlers to be home before dark, but sometimes they have so much fun they forget. Well, they did look like they were having a great time. They were so cute dancing to Kobe's music. They were dancing to my song? <laughs> yep, until you stopped. Then they headed for the hills. Oh, I've got to get them home before their bedtime. They have so much energy. Ma'am, I reckon me and my cowpoke posse could round up those strays. I found some tracks. Web-footed, like baby penguins. But they go off in all different directions. Shucks, partners. We'll just split up into two groups. Mia, Mama Penguin, you come with me. And Tessa, Kobe, and I will follow these tracks. Yee-haw! <laughs> something to make them come to us. <gasps> you mean like fishy treats? Come and get it! <laughs> All right, it worked! Come on, little penguin. Let's get you back 
to our campfire and your mom. Come to mommy. Come on. Squawk, squawk. There's one. So cute. Oh, my baby. Come on, little fella. Let's hurry back to the corral. Great work, everybody. This is going to be a super snow corral. Yeah, this should keep that little guy from wandering. What? He's gone. Oh, no. Howdy, y'all. We got one. How'd you cowpokes do? We found a penguin baby, too. But by the time we finished our super cool snow corral... He sort of wandered off again. We'd better get the penguin we found into the corral. <gasps> oh, Not again. Now how are we going to get them back before sundown? I don't know. My little flippity flappers have so much energy. <laughs> they sure do. You should have seen them dancing to Kobe's music. Mia's right. They did love Kobe's music. So maybe if you play some more, they'll come back to hear it. <gasps> yeah, yeah Kobe. Kobe, play some more. It'll sound great. Encore, encore. I don't know. I want to help, but what if I mess up the song again? Kobe, your song doesn't have to be perfect for us to enjoy it. Well, it is a scientific fact that some animals like music, so... Okay, I'll try. Look, it's working! Keep playing, Kobe. You don't have to be perfect to dance or sing or play. Keep on trying and you'll get a little better every day. Just keep on working at it. Some notes may come out wrong. But that won't really matter. We all love to sing along. This is a hoedown. Yeehaw! Sounding good, Kobe. You don't have to be perfect to dance or sing or play. Keep on trying and you'll get a little better every day. Kobe, your song really tuckered out my little waddlers. You're welcome. Aw, yep. Looks like they're ready to hit the hay. Come on, sleepyheads. Off to bed. I bet they'll sleep well tonight. Way to go, Kobe. You did it. Wait till you hear about our snow cowboy adventure. Kobe rounded up a herd of lost penguins <laughs> with his harmonica. I didn't think I could do it, but everyone told me to try. And you, you did, did it. it. Yeah. Play your tune for him, Kobe. Ziga digga doo. Here goes. <laughs> likes the music. Maybe he's part penguin. Waddle, waddle, squawk! <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are here today so Miss Pinky can marry Mr. Lucky. Hey, where's Lucky's hat? I didn't want to wake him. <sighs> I promised Miss Pinky a fairy tale wedding, so Lucky needs a top hat. Okay. I think Lucky's having second thoughts. What happened? Miss Pinky wants a beautiful wedding, like in a fairy tale. But Lucky keeps leaving. Well, I don't think you can make someone get married if they don't want to. Maybe Lucky's just not ready yet. 
Hey, why don't we all go on a fairy tale adventure? And maybe when we come back, he'll be ready to marry. Cool. We can be brave knights. I'll be the princess. Of course. <laughs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. stuck in a tower. Right! Knights to the rescue! Hello? Anyone up there? Yes, I'm here. Great news! We're here to rescue you from this terrible tower. I don't need rescuing. I'm just visiting a friend. But how will you get down? A braid? Fairy tale fact, every tower's got one. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So you don't need rescuing? Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, <gasps> it's beautiful. <laughs> <gasps> Hello, I'm Princess Mia. I'd love a bite of cheese, please. That was our cheese! It was delicious! <gasps> Princess Mia thanks you for sharing. I like to play a royal game after my snack. Don't you, your highness? <gasps> oh, dear! <laughs> oh, 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 you'd rather dance. Okay, I love to dance. I'll teach you. This is a special Princess Mia dance. Da di da di da di da da di da da di di da di da 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 There's a good boy! You're oh. such a good boy. Who's a good boy? Good boy? <laughs> this is my pet dragon, Torchy. We're playing fetch. <sighs> Everyone looks like they need saving, but no one really does. What kind of fairy tale land is this? Help! 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 Someone! Someone please save us! 
goodness, is everything all right at the mouse castle? No, no, we need saving. Oh, that's wonderful. It is. Here are four brave knights, just looking for someone to rescue. Ah, more giants! It's okay, we're not giants. But I can see how we'd look that way to you. All we want to do is help. Really? Yes, what have you got? An ogre? A, a troll? A witch? A rumpy stompy giant princess! <laughs> da -da 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 -da! Is that your rompy stompy giant? Mm hmm Oh, hi, guys. I'm dancing with my new mouse friends. Come join in. <laughs> <laughs> Mia, can you stop for a second, please? Oh, sure. It's just so much fun. Did you guys find someone to rescue? Actually, we did. Yeah! The mice in the castle are being attacked by a romping, stomping, giant princess! <gasps> a giant princess? Where? Uh, it's you, Mia. Me? But I'm not a giant princess. I'm a little girl princess. To us, you're little. But to the mice... You're a giant! From down here, Eddie looked so big. That's how I must look to the mice. Like a giant princess. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I never thought about how I must look to you. I didn't mean to scare you. If I was a little mouse, you'd all seem really tall. But if I grew to be your size, you wouldn't seem tall at all. From high up in a tower, you'd all seem really small. But if I came down to where you were, you wouldn't seem small at all. There's no one else who sees the world quite like me or you. The special way we see the world is called our point of view. Point of view. Point of view. I think cheese is great. Nine o'clock's my bedtime. To me, that's really late. Point of view, point of view. It makes me me and it makes you you. So when I'm loud, I'll think of you and you can think of me. And we'll never forget and never regret we see things differently. Now we have the chance to show my friends our dance. But there's nothing for you to fear, cause I'll be dancing over here! Try to think about what her friends are seeing and feeling. Even lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Even lucky. <sighs> and I think he's feeling like he doesn't want to get married today. <laughs> but I think Miss Pinky really wants a fairy tale wedding. So we need to find her a new groom. How about Mr. Bear? Ooh, would you like to get married today, Mr. Bear? Uh-huh. Perfect. We are here today for a fairy tale wedding. Princess Mia declares that Miss Pinky and Mr. Bear will now be married forever and go off to fairy tale land where they will live happily ever after. The end. <laughs>
show is big. Play that music. It's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air together.